NIAB is the biggest or fastest growing research institute in, in, in the country right now. Um, Ag-based you know, ag science, uh, whether it's cereals, whether it's veg crops, um, whether it's ornamentals, um, fruit and veg, we do a vast amount of research. Um, we now get into ent entomology, we do path work, we have our own lab testing facilities. Um, we do a lot of work for, um, for breeding, for disease resistance, and this, th this particular project, for example, allows us to grow research cereals in a protected environment, um, grow through generations really quickly. So under sodium lights in, in a glass house, we might only get three, maybe four generations of cereals, so from seed to seed, in a year. With these particular speed reading setups, with the lights, with the spectrums and intensities, we can probably get six, up to six generations, potentially, a year, if, we, you know, if, we're, if we're good. And that allows us to go through our breeding process, our breeding premise really quickly, so that we can find um, the, you know, the cereals or, you know, or any plants that are going to have the resistance to, um, to diseases and to, and to pests, that are going to produce these high yields that we can then take into the field, create field plots, and then we can see under real world conditions whether they're going to deliver that. So it's, um, it's super and super important work. Um, and, it, and it needs to be done. And by doing this with a, an efficient light in an efficient manner, you know, it's, it's just going to speed up that process rather than having to rely on standard growing, which just takes too long. Um, people are moving away from HPS, they're moving into LEDs. So finding the, the spectrum that suits, you know, providing the, you know, the, the growing uh, environment that suits is going to be super, super important because as lights evolve, the efficiency goes up. So we're saving money. Uh, you know, from the, from, you know, in terms of electric, um, and we're getting better output for it, um, a better product, quicker, and at cheaper cost. I mean, who wouldn't want it? Well, I suppose the first time I actually heard of Indu was when um, Emma, who was organising the, the event that we had last September, um, said this company Indu, and I was like, I've not heard of these guys. So you do a bit of background and you, and you see the, the stuff that they've come from, obviously the street lighting, and you think to yourself, okay, it's another one of these, you know, these guys that have seen horticulture and think, oh, we can jump in on that market. The event that we put on, we met you guys, we saw the light, and the idea of, you know, you know there was a heat sink there, there's no fan system, you know, the IP rating, the, the, you know, the, the relatively small footprint, you know, it kind of sort of started to add up and, and make sense to us. But once we see the product, you start to then think, well, actually, these guys have got it actually quite figured out. From when we first met you guys, the enthusiasm, I mean, you guys rolled up as a unit. There wasn't just one of you, like, like say, one guy that you know, the company sent. You guys came and you meant business. You were there talking to people. You were using the platform to talk to growers. Um, and actually demonstrate your, you know, your, your product. And then I'll see talking to you guys through emails, through phone calls, through, through teams, just the communication's really good. Um, you know, the, the fact that you guys want to develop as well, so you're actually asking the right questions. Rather than you telling me you know it all, you actually want to understand how the grower works as well, um, which is important. And in terms of the product itself, we needed a light that was gonna deliver a certain spectrum in comparison with other research that's been done before um, that delivered an intensity. Obviously, these lights are hung lower than we normally would. We've got the intensity here, we've got the spectrum, but the plants speak for themselves. I mean, it's wheat six weeks after sowing. And ordinarily, these are, in a glasshouse condition, these are 14, 15 weeks of growing. And at this stage, um, I would assume under normal conditions, this week would be 10 weeks old. So already we're, we're four weeks ahead of where we need to be because of the intensity and the spectrum that's been delivered. And yeah, the light itself has just delivered what we expected. In terms of the electrician themselves, um, he found it very easy to work on. Um, to hang, they're relatively light. Our HPS lights are I think 13 kilograms. These run at about five to six. So running them on change, being able to, and to hang them, they're nice and easy to use. Obviously with the, the hook and chain systems, nice and easy. And with the different um, 
hook points, we can change them slightly to, to, you know, to, the, to the angles that we want. They give out, an, you know, a, they, they, they provide a, 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 you know, a little bit of heat here, which again is going to stimulate plant growth. Um, you know, the heat sink work, they're IP67 rated, there's no noisy fans or you know, ease for, for water get in because we do you know, overhead water. Um, yeah, they've just delivered everything that we wanted um, in, terms of, in terms of growth, really. As a, as a company, um, I've enjoyed working with you guys. Um, you know, firing questions backwards and forwards, getting the information. Communication's always been really good. I mean, I wouldn't have any, any bad words to say.